This video will demonstrate how to create an Ubuntu virtual machine using the Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. If you have VirtualBox installed on your machine, you can start VirtualBox to view the manager screen. By default, VirtualBox keeps virtual machines private to each user. If you want to have all users on the host operating system have access to a virtual machine, you will have to change the preferences. To do that, click on File, Preferences, default machine folder. In this case only the person Mike is allowed to use any machine created but we're going to allow all users on this host operating system be able to access this virtual machine. Click on other then computer C users public and make a new folder in public and we'll call it public VMs for public virtual machines. Click OK. OK. So now we're ready to create a new Ubuntu virtual machine. We'll click on New. It says Welcome to New Virtual Machine Wizard. We'll just follow the steps on this wizard. Click on Next and we'll give this machine a name called Ubuntu User 01 and by default it says Linux. Make sure you have Linux here and the version is Ubuntu. Cling, click Next. We'll have to configure a size for this, the amount of RAM or random access memory this machine has. Now this is a virtual this is a guest operating system so the memory requirement your host operating system plus your guest operating system must not must be less than the amount of ram that you have on your hardware machine or your host oper host machine for example windows 7 requires about 1 gigabyte to run Ubuntu requires about 512 megabytes to run. And so your host machine hardware must have less must have at least 1.5 gigabytes. In this case, we're going to up the up the amount of RAM for the host operating system from 512 to 768 because we always like to ha have a little bit more than necessary to run some of the programs that take a lot of memory. Change it to 768 megabytes which is three quarters of a gigabyte. Then click on next. That's if you have the memory. Now we're going to create a hard disk. It says the recommended size of the boot hard disk is eight gigabytes. Now it'd be, it's very hard, very difficult to change the size of a hard disk in a machine once you've set it. So we're going to pick a a little bit larger and make it to 20 gigabytes. Click Next. The wizard will help you create a new virtual hard disk for your machine. Click Next. You have two choices here. Dynamically expanding storage means that it starts from a very small amount and goes up to 20 gigabytes. This is a little bit slower but you this is the preferred method because you don't want to have 20 gigabytes of your hard disk storage for off your host machine that's not being used to full capacity. The fixed size storage takes 20 gigabytes and doesn't grow but it is a little bit faster. In our case we're going to use dynamically expanding storage. Click Next. Locations go been to users just accept the default. Now we're going to have to change this to 20 gigabytes here to allow the the maximum size of the hard disk for the virtual machine. Click Next and you're going to create a new virtual hard disk with following parameters dynamically expanding storage here it is in the public VMs 20 gigabytes and we're going to click Finish and it gives all the summary and click Finish. Now we 
have to do some other things to make sure that we're going to get this machine to start. For one, in storage, we're going to have to go to the, the VDI or the hard disk. I'm sorry. We're going to have to go to the, the CD drive and we are going to use choose a virtual CD drive CD disk drive. In our case, wherever we downloaded the ISO file from Ubuntu, that is where we're going to have to go. In this case, it's C virtual machines for students Ubuntu desktop to 10.04.2 the ISO file. Once it's open, this is where it's going to start from. Click OK. Also, if we want to add a printer or something, we click on the USB and click on this Add Filter from Device. Click on that, and we got two choices Canon, in this case, a USB headset or a Canon printer. We're going to pick Canon printer. This allows the virtual machine, the Ubuntu virtual machine, to use a Canon printer. Click OK. Shared folders. This allows you to copy and paste from the virtual machine or the guest to the host. And we're going to leave that alone because that's a security hole. So now we are ready to start our machine and actually uh, start installing Ubuntu. That will be in the next video. Thank you.